<laughs> All right, so you guys, well, we're joined by Caroline Popola right now, a representative from Alpha Global. Now, it's a leading child care solutions provider committed to meeting the needs of children between the ages of three months to five years by supporting their personal development in conducive environments. Now, they have been providing child care um, for the past 16 years to over 500 children every single week. And, Caroline, you are here with us. Grand. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I see you two are wearing... Blue, uh -huh. and I've got green. Green, that's fine. Thank I you for I complimenting. Your wardrobe. You should actually. <laughs> <By> blending nicely. <laughs> you do. Now, by the way, Caroline hasn't stopped laughing since she's gotten here this morning. So we're going to hope to get serious as we talk yeah. about creating better awareness for child care givers in Nigeria. We're also going to talk about the program that you have going yeah. on very soon. Yeah. But also wanted to point the fact that Caroline only just landed herself. So that story we're telling from before. I don't know if she experienced it, but... I know, put my PJs on, PJs on. She's still got her PJs <laughs> on. But you're welcome to back to Nigeria. Thank you so much you only for just came in on. from the UK, and yes. this is your first stop. Literally. Literally. This is my first stop. Good to so, have you here. And I think I'm looking good. You are looking... <laughs> girl, you are. Right. <laughs> All right, yes. so let's talk childcare. Let's talk about um, creating awareness for caregivers themselves. You did point uh, out that the, we can actually help stop instances of child molestation only if we know better and the first people who are well kind of like in that hierarchy would be the child caregivers it could be parents yeah. it could be professional caregivers yeah. themselves yeah. but tell us about this please the endeavor so like i said thank you so much we have a program next saturday and literally is aimed towards child care practitioners or educators as we know them um, parents and caregivers literally to understand like i said to know better is to do better and for us, it's very, very important. We've done so well, and we're grateful to him up there, that in the last 18 years, where we've worked in the UK with children, we've done brilliantly. And I just felt it's about time we come in, rather than joining the, the conversation or complaining and not being part of the solution finders, the excellent practitioners in here in Nigeria. And the best thing is, let's join forces together, let's collaborate together to really understand the fact that if you do well as practitioners, the point of contact is you first. Mm -hmm. Parents come to you first with their children. And if they came in, for example, and said to you, oh, um, my child, I had to ch slap my child by, uh, around the face because of ABC, mm -hmm. um, you're able to s tell them like, no, it's called abuse. It's not acceptable. So oh. that's just the so you see there that now. <laughs> now that's the fine line where parents need to know what practitioners ought to know professionally. So how can parents be sure that these are um, what I should look out in proper practitioners? What should parents look out for? So, and, and this is where for parents, you need to understand what are your values? Mm -hmm. If you know your values and your expectations, then you know what providers to go to because you have set values that you want instilled in your child and at the same time, you're looking for practitioners that really have those values to instill in your child. Mm -hmm. So it's having to marry both together and say, all right, this person or this childcare practitioner or this school or this educator fits into what I believe or we believe as a family. Mm -hmm. And then we know we go for that. So, for example, I mean, I had an Insta Live recently, um, last week or this week, and one of the ladies being, she, she's in Gambia, so we're reaching out to five African countries, including Nigeria, and she's coming on the program. And she literally said 22 years ago when she started, if you talked about early years, because we're talking about children between the ages of zero to five years old. Mm -hmm. If you talk about early years, they, people just look at you and think, oh, what's that? There's no need. It's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. But that's the informative year, age. That's mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. you get to form them, develop them, yeah. stimulate them for them to be better adults. Mm -hmm. So if we don't get it right, which is the, nicely leads me to the theme of the program, which is starting early, starting right. Mm -hmm. If you start early, you get it right because you don't want to raise crazy adults. Yeah. And the world is what it is at the moment. We need to change what we're bringing up. Now, for practitioners, it must be very difficult because the fact is while you have a set principle or, you know, professional uh, um, uh, a principle, you have different parents who have different uh, uh, principles themselves. And you are that meeting point. So how do you weld all these demands from and, the parents and, for their and, kids, yes. which is, they're very passionate about, yes. in one yes. single practice? It's so easy. Honestly, if you're passionate about what you do, if you haven't already, you can tell I'm passionate about what I do. If you're passionate about what you do, you, each child is an individual. Mm -hmm. Even in your home, for example, if yeah. you had siblings, 
the way you raise should be different yeah. because your needs is different from your brother's or your sister's needs. Same thing, you couldn't, you couldn't just assume because you have 20, 100 children coming to your school, you paint them with the same brush. It doesn't work like that. Mm. You look for each individual needs for a family and you deal with that. It's never too different. It's just that may, um, you have your set rules mm -hmm. and then a parent might decide, oh, this is the way we go to sleep, for example. I want my child to sleep at 2 o'clock. But as you practice, you sleep at one, for example, you have to cater to that child's need, that family's needs. Okay, wow. all the other children sleep at two or one o'clock, but these parents want this for their particular, and you do that. Wow. And that's because you care and you're passionate about what you do. And they're your stakeholders. You don't see them as your, cash, uh, your money machine first. Mm -hmm. They're not your money machine. You care yeah, about the child. That's, that's why you're going into it, for the care and the passion you have for the children and the family. I'll give you an instance here. So um, my wife, um, uh, my daughter comes back from school and says, oh, we were watching this cartoon in school the other day. And um, it was a very regular cartoon. We saw it when we were growing up, and we thought it was OK. Well, we, I still think it's OK. But at the end of the, 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 the movie, they kissed. But mommy, you say, Kissing is bad. Why are we being shown in school a cartoon where the characters kiss? So it really got me thinking. I'm like, it was okay when I was growing up, but my wife has an issue with it. But how to explain to the caregivers, the teachers now, that this is something that our family would rather leave until latter years? Yeah. And what would you do in that instance? In that instance, have they even first and foremost told you that they're going to be showing that in school? No, we were That's it. Told. So for a start, that's wrong. I mean, that is wrong. So I give an instance. We, we, on, so when it comes to our planning, mm -hmm. so planning when it comes to the curriculum and the things we're going to do with our children, what I say to my team is, if you have, if, if, you're, if the parents want you to watch TV mm -hmm. or their children to watch TV at mm -hmm. a nursery, mm -hmm. they wouldn't come and pay you for it. They exactly. can easily do that at home. So why would you, why would I bring my child to you, pay you over £1,500 a month for you to put my child in front of a screen mm. to watch them kiss? Mm. Like, that's not done. Mm. So your responsibility as a parent should be, what is it you're going to be teaching my children? That's within your right to ask. Mm. You need to ask those questions. Because then if they give you anything, you just take it. It doesn't work like that. You are paying for the service and you have a right. At the same time, the caregivers have a right to say, this is what we're going to be doing, mm -hmm. and if you don't like it, how can we compromise or you take your child somewhere else? Mm -hmm. It is that simple. I think for me, it's to empower the child caregivers yeah. to say, look, if, you, if your passion is about what you do and you're acting within the rules of the development and the mm -hmm. simulation of the child you're looking after, there's no reason why parents won't come into bed with you. All right. Well, that's nice. Let, let's talk about the projects here yes. that you, you're here for um, this month. So um, it's what again? <laughs> so we're, it's a conference for early years childcare practitioners. Mm -hmm. And it's called, the theme is starting early, starting right. Starting because of early. the starting early, starting right. So to, the, to diff different age, um, age groups. And um, just to empower the parents, encourage, um, enlighten, educate parents, childcare practitioners, to do better and to know better. When That's is it what it's, hold? it's on Saturday, the night. So this Saturday, mm -hmm. I know we have a holiday, a long holiday coming up. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't affect you from coming. Yeah. You come and learn. You know, so it's on Saturday. Parents are welcome. Parents are welcome. Caregiver. Registration is free oh. because we have incredible people, the speakers that are coming in and they've paid the price. We're paying the nice. price. Nice. You know, so you can come for free. But well, oh. parents are welcome. Practitioners are welcome. Are welcome. We've got over 800 people this registered already. Where? It's happening in Lekki, and I'm going to try and pronounce the place, Col Colosseum, Colsotium. Colosseum, <laughs> Lekki Colosseum. <laughs> That's okay. where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline, <laughs> fantastic. Thank you for coming. And I've taken a leaf from what you said. I think I will be contacting the school. My wife has already done so, but I think I will be letting them know as professionally as you have let me know Honestly. what their rights are and what my rights is as a parent. You, make sure you sit with them and yes, just say, will. look, what is it you're teaching us this year? Yeah. We want to be a part of this learning that you're instilling Fantastic. in our children, and that's what it is. Caroline, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. See, it's not that difficult, <laughs> now, is it? <laughs> and that's it. Thank you very much for coming. Do stay tuned. Wake Up Nigeria continues right after this.